I've been a math major, I've been taking math classes since freshman year, and every time I tell someone I'm a math major, they always say, okay, so that's great, but what's the relevance to uh, your life, and what do you want to do with that? And a lot of people say, oh, okay, math, I get it. Math and drumming, yeah, sure, there's a relationship there, but I really wanted to flesh that out for myself. Kieran was my student in Analysis 1, and she told me that she is also a drummer, a musician, and is very interested in that, and that she was actually interested in the acoustics or the mathematics behind a drum. This relates to partial differential equations, which is a rather advanced topic for undergraduates, but if she was interested, we could design a reading course for that. To understand what's going on, you have to understand like the relationship between the actual technique involved. So what exactly is going on mathematically when you put, when you give energy to a drum, you set it off into one of its several infinite amount of vibrating modes, those circular vibrating shapes, basically. You have to do these long problem sets for Professor Eller, and a lot of times we have to figure out components of it on our own, and that's the beauty of an independent study, is you're doing it, you're motivated by your passion for the subject and your desire to want to figure something out. Um, and that like prompts your ability to sit down and be like, okay, like, here we go, like, four or five pages of typed math, but I want to understand this. You know, I've put in all this time taking classes in ODE, in linear algebra, in um, multivariable calculus. Why don't I use that and apply it to something that I wouldn't have been able to understand had I not done this math major at Georgetown, you know? Georgetown makes it tough because they want to make sure it's legit, but if it is, you have to go for it.